Poppy and sewing a wig from Julia Hair. Along with the package, I received a hair straightener brush. Inside the package, I received the wig that I'll be installing, two wig caps, and an elastic band. The wig that I'll be installing is a 13 x 4 reddish brown body weave wig. This is a 24 inch transparent lace frontal wig. For this install, I'll be doing a side part with some regular baby hairs with some nice big wand curls. So the next clip will be showing you guys how the wig looks customized already. I already placed the bowl cap on my client's head. Now I'm just positioning the wig to where I want it to lay once it's installed. Once the wig is positioned correctly, I use my angled brush and my Ruby Kiss Cream Foundation number 15 to make a dotted line across her hairline. Before placing the first layer of glue down, I use an aqua pad and clean my client's hairline where I'll be placing the glue. For each install, I use three thin layers of glue and I make sure that I spread it across my client's hairline evenly. Once your third layer is dried, it'll be clear and then you can place the lace into the glue. To make it easier, you can use the dotted line from the lace to match the dotted line on your client's hairline so you can know exactly where to place the lace down. this is transparent lace it is a little bit thicker so you want to make sure that when you're cutting the lace you cut it in a zigzag motion so it won't be as visible after I cut off the lace for each section I use a thin layer of glue and place it on top of the lace so that it can be extra secured and melted The makeup that I'm using to match the lace of my client's skin tone is Ruby Kiss Cream Foundation number 15, the lighter side.
Once I placed all the makeup on to blend with my client's skin tone, I used my Erica J's Melting Spray and sprayed it across the hairline before placing the black elastic band down. When I'm cutting the baby hairs, I always cut it in a diagonal motion from short to long. First thing that I placed on the baby hairs is, is got to be glue gel, the black one, and then I use my Kim of Nature mousse and my edge brush, the smaller sides, to swoop them in place. For the styling part of this install, I will be doing some big wand curls, but right now I'm giving the hair some layers so that once the curls are out, it'll look more bouncy and have more volume. To hold the curl in place, I use my Got To Be Glued Free Spray. I take a section of the hair, spray it on the hair, comb out all the product through it, and then I use my T3 Curling Iron to curl the hair. I always make sure that I use the iron and curl away from my client's face so that once the curl is dropped, it'll fall right into my client's face. Continue watching to see how I do a few more of the curls before I hot comb the hair in place. This is how the curls came out. Now I'm just removing the wrap strips because the edges are dried now. So I'm gonna start to hot comb. Before hot combing, I'm gonna use my bio silk and place it on my client's hairline so that when I do a hot comb, it'll be sleek and molded right in place.
now here's a close-up view of how the install came out as you guys can see it's transparent lace and it still looks super melted and neat This is the finished look of the install. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Continue watching for more clips of the finished look.